Honey. Well, guys, how you doing today? As you saw, Max uh, was doing his hurdles, you know, trying to shed that wheat. And uh, I was working on something inside of my canvas coverall. Well, let me show you what I did, guys. Look at that. Built that floor in there. As I told you before in my other movie about me, uh, messing around with this canvas coverall. I uh, told you I wanted to build a raised floor, so I did. Now, the only problem is when I get going on something, I mean, I want to start it and I want to finish it. So, it's hard for me to pick up this cam. I'm still learning the ropes, guys. I'm still learning the ropes. But it's real hard for me to pick up and remember, hey, I gotta get my camera and a tripod out to film this stuff, you know? But anyways, um, it was pretty boring anyways, guys. You guys didn't want to watch me work. Are you kidding me? Me sweating and cussing and swearing and shit. Oops, sorry. You didn't want to watch me do that, but... There's my bike. Four-wheeler fits in there. There's the plow I got for my quad. I just need to get some, uh, some of these things right here, guys. These, like, U-bolt things. I need to get ones that are little bit longer to go around my frame but uh, yeah man it's nice in here it's it's nice and sturdy and what a dream to just pull my bike in here I can actually turn it right around in here and uh, get it pointing out because what I was doing is I was pulling in on the grass and uh, then I couldn't back the friggin heavy beast out of here so it was you know, I'd lug and lug trying to get her out, you know, back and forth, but it's good now, guys, and, uh, you know, it's awesome. I, it's no worries. I got this little ramp here. I built this, uh, I'll show you. This ramp here, guys, see that? Get you a better angle. So, built the ramp, so you can go right up in. I'm going to get some pressure-treated uh, deck boards and because that will be outside exposed to the elements so it'll get soggy real quick I mean there is a little kind of like a, a glued surface on the back side I put that side up because it's got a little bit of texture texture on it for coming in here with the bike because the other side of the plywood can get pretty slippery sometimes last thing I want to do is drop my bike that would suck so yeah I'll, that'll do for now and then I'll put uh, some pressure treated deck boards which are the same they're 5 8 same thickness as this plywood put it across there and I won't have to worry about it ever and it'll be stronger than the plywood so but yeah man that's what I did I put my floor in guys I put my floor in uh, it was actually pretty funny because me and Lana sat out here in these uh, lawn chairs and slugged back a couple beers <laughs> sitting in here. We're like, oh, we'll just hang out in here. You know, this is great. It's almost the same size as our apartment, so hey, whatever. Put a bed out here, and when I get into trouble, I can just come out here and snooze. So, yesterday I ran out of light when I was, uh, well, I didn't run out of light working on the bike. I got it all spiffy, polished up nice. But I ran out of light when I was working on this snow plow. I got the plate mounted. Um, I got two U-bolts on the right side, but I only got one on the left, kind of in the center. Because the left side's got a weird, kind of the frame's different. It's got this different plate, and you can't get a U-bolt over top. So anyways, I uh, I got light now, and I, I crawled under there, and I can I just got to drill one hole. And that's pretty good, only drilling one hole for this whole installation, which I'm quite happy with, because I didn't want to be drilling holes in my four-wheeler frame, but... 
Uh, I had the the, the uh, plow hooked up last night to the quad, raising, lowering, works great. Uh, but yeah, I just got to drill one more hole, get another shackle in there, and uh, yeah. And the U bolts I put in, I bought. I was gonna buy a real heavy duty grade U bolts, and then I got thinking like, hmm, do I want these U bolts to hold tight when I if I drive the plow into something really hard or do I want them to kind of just shear off like kind of like a shear bolt so I bought a lower grade and I'm hoping that if I hit something hard like a culvert or a, a stump or something I'm hoping that those u-bolts will just more or less shear off and just drop the plate so the whole thing will drop off so instead of you know something really tough grade you know grade a being on there and and I hit it with my plow and it just twists my four-wheeler frame to shit. So I bought the, the China China bolts hoping and I hope that if I do ram into something they'll just shear right off. So anyways, I'll put you under there and I'll get down there and uh, drill a hole. And hopefully we can get this last bolt in and I'll show you the the thing working. There's the pilot hole. Now we're going to drill the big boy. That should do. Okay, so as you can see, that's the plate right there. I got my U bolts and stuff. See, these are the sheer ones. So I figure that if I hit something, those will just break off. I had to manipulate them so they'll go around the frame. But basically, you just drive up like that. And I'll set you down here. Set you guys down. You just drive up there like that. And you just, this is light enough. You have enough leverage that you just kind of lift it. And drag it back. Just like that. You pull that over like that. And you're done. Simple. Just hook the winch cable to the front and up she goes. Well, another job done. She's ready for uh, winter time. It's all ready for winter time, so I don't have to mess around out here in the cold trying to dink around getting that plate on because we got some huge snowstorm. As soon as the snow comes, just, like I said, drive up, clip it on, plow snow. Perfect. Awesome. Well, yeah. Anyways, I think I'm going to uh, keep up the positive uh, work and probably go clean my truck the uh, the outside's clean me and Sean washed it today but uh, the inside's filthy so I'm gonna go and uh, give her a wipe down have everything nice and clean the lawn tractor I don't know what's up with it dump some sea foam into it see if it start running it's friggin like surging I don't know what's wrong with it but anyways four-wheelers done guys <laughs>